Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be covering how to use the Elementor Pro Facebook Embed widget. So before we dive in, I just wanted to say that if you don't already have Elementor Pro, you can pick it up through WPWithTom.com slash Elementor, and it helps support the channel. I also wanted to mention that I'll be covering every single one of the Elementor Pro elements in videos and making a nice playlist. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of those videos. And with that out of the way, let's dive into this video. So the Facebook embed element is an easy way if you want to share your Facebook page and some recent posts directly on your website as well as videos if that's what you want to do. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually scroll down and let's just add in a new section. So if I hit the plus icon, I'm going to add a two wide structured section right here. And then I'll go over to the blocks icon and scroll down and we'll find this Facebook embed. And I'm just going to drag it in and I'm also going to do the same on the one next to it. Find the Facebook embed or you can actually make a copy of it. And then you're going to drag it over and just drop it in over here. So what I can do from here is I actually can go and change the type. So right now it says post video. If I wanted to change that to video, that's where I would do that. And it by default shows you an Elementor one right here. So let's just say I wanted to go and I'm going to go in this one real quick first. I'm going to edit this and go over how to do a post. So if we go into our video area here, we can actually click on post. And from here, once this loads, I'm going to find a post. So right here, this is a post about a video. So I'm going to scroll down to this one Elementor Pro. Is it worth it? Hint, it is. So if we go down here, we can click on these three buttons, go to see more options, and then we'll just go embed. And from here, it's going to bring us to this area where we're going to want to do it here. We'll go to advanced settings. And from here, I'll just grab this URL, copy it, and I'll go back here and I'll just simply paste it right in here. And that will bring up my post there. So as you saw on this page, it also shows a video post up here. I can go up, click these three buttons again, see more options and then I can go to embed and I'll go over to advanced settings for this video embed right here again I'm just going to grab the content right here this link I'll copy it go back over here if we go over to this one right here click on this icon to get into it and we're going to change it to be the video that I just was on right there about the best Elementor plugins and add-ons and that is how you would change that. So you can also change things like allow full screen. You can also do full post. There's different options that you could put into place here. So this tells you a little bit more about it when you go to full post. You can do autoplay if you want. You can do captions. I'm going to leave those options off. But you can also go right into here. You can edit the section and style it a little bit. So if you wanted to, you can add a background overlay, for example, or a color. So if we just want to go into classic. I'll change the color of the background right here. So it's an easy way to make some changes to the site itself if you want to. Here it says opacity. That's why it's not showing up too bright. You can change that as well. And for example, if we wanted to go and add some padding or something like that, we can go right in here. I'm just going to add 25 to all. And from here, I'm just going to go and click update. This is just a quick example showing you how to actually put these in bed links right into your site here with Elementor Pro. So if we were to go back over and let's go and look at the site. If we go to visit site, I'll go to the about page where we were at. And if I scroll down, you can see that down here, this is the section that we just added with the post embedded and then the video embedded. So I hope that you enjoyed this video on the Elementor Pro Facebook Embed widget. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Elementor related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.